Did you see the fight Saturday? <laughs> Of course he did. Uh, he was yeah, like I did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. No, he was uh, spectacular. Hold on, so. I think you can beat him. Let's talk <laughs> about <laughs> Let's talk about So do I, but I'm, I'm retired and old. And, I don't know. And, hey, but you are, know. You? are you? You can, always, you can always come back. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, well, there's your I concern. know, I, I know. But still, you. I'm going to say you look right. Right. Oh well. Age, mean, what listen, they say, I mean, age is just a. What do they say? Age is just a num number. Num number. You know what R. Kelly said? Me and him what? down a back street together. <laughs> yeah, but oh, in an I alley fight. Him. What? <laughs> <laughs> Stick me down a dark alley. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Of course. Yeah. But I think in a bar fight you could probably beat him, huh? What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not even a conversation. Yeah, yeah, in a but bar don't fight. Don't do that. Yeah, don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't make me disrespect the champ. He's uh -huh. great. He's great. I, I, he's clinical. He's a bright guy. No, he's fucking awesome. He's a nice guy. Yeah. Don't, make, don't make me say that. But I'm just saying. I will say it. I know you will. I know you will. <laughs> Wait, that but, is a good question. Though. Yeah. Like, could a UFC champ be a really poor bar fighter? Yes. No. I mean, like he couldn't. No, know. no, because of no. no. I'll tell you why. Because of distance, right? Mm -hmm. He's a distance fighter, right? In a oh, bar. Oh, oh, Adesanya. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, for sure. In a bar, you could once you corner him in that, you know. <laughs> in a, let's imagine an okay. old timey bar, right? Yeah. With those funny paintings. You know what I mean? Of Englishmen, so, whatever, wherever a, he comes a from. A pub. A pub. <laughs> a pub. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? And they have the, you know, Sinatra playing or whatever. I don't know what he does. No, we don't and, have Sinatra. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah. But here's the thing: in yeah. most of those places that you're trying to describe, yeah, there's, there's normally people that are very drunk. Yes, yeah. they don't know how to fight. Right, they don't have fighting skills. Yeah, they're not in shape. They're not in shape. They've yeah. got a bigger beer belly than you. Right, and, that's rude. Uh, <laughs> that's, also very, that's also rude. All it's, right, it's yeah, very yeah. strong. It's a little ball <laughs> yeah, Come yeah, on. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and 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 uh, yeah, listen, he needs range to operate, but I'm still sure without the range. Yeah, you can find the mark. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just think that I and I know you're, you're retired, but I think that if you know, if I was in your corner, right, and I was your coach, I would say, um, "Listen, Mike, all what you would you say? We have to, we 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 have to fucking what do you pin off? The, you know how you corner somebody in the ring? What do you call it? Corral cut, them you cut, against the you fence. Cut, yeah, you cut off. We're gonna do cut moves. What do you mean? Right? Yeah, no, just, you want just, me to cut off the fence? No, just, slowly work him up. I'm your coach. I'm your coach. Oh, sorry, right? sorry, coach. Mike, 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 my Mike. Bad, my hey, bad. buddy. You know Have mean? a British accent. Yeah. Hello, Mike, Mike. Yeah, call me Doc. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> call me What's Doc. Up, coach? Hello, hello. So, Mike, Mike, we're going to cut off the ring. <laughs> we cut off the ring, right? He goes this way. You go that way. <laughs> he goes this way. You go that way, What's right? I said, and then, I, said, I said, coach, when did you go gay? <laughs> I'm a gay. Listen, it's fine. I'm, you know, whatever you want to do, Hello, coach. Uh, yeah, doc. But Jesus so, Christ, so, you're gonna so, tell me these things. I we're, just called. We're getting off. naked in the shower. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. So then, once you cut him off, right, he'll have deer in the headlights, right? Oh my you won't know what to do, right? And then you go, ka -ka 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 -ka. what you do, right? <laughs> ah! You do what you do, right? I just think that you could do it, and I'm gonna convince <laughs> you this whole hour. Right, to get back in the ring. What? <laughs> well, I would, I would, but I've got no knees. Oh, oh, shit. I've got one eye. Oh, that's right, you have one eye. I have one eye. Like this Popeye. Is fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, I just had two, since I last saw you, two total knee replacements. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, yeah, so, so I, I just had one four weeks ago today. Yeah. So tomorrow. So, yeah. Not fighting anytime soon. Well, we're, we're, we're not, we haven't started actually yet legally. I mean, we're going to keep legally. this stuff in. Legally. Legally, we haven't started yet, right? Ooh. So we're going to keep the stuff in, right? That Hold we on, just before said. we do, I have one more question because we were, we were listening to, you know how in these, with these new fights without the, with the audience, you can hear the cornermen and everybody so much better. Yes. So we've been listening to the cornermen and we have, we kind of started asking ourselves like what kind of, like if you're two rounds down, what do you usually want your cornermen to say that, you're two rounds down, or that depends on the fighter. No, no, no. You want them to be honest. Yeah. You want them to say, listen, did you come here to lose? Did you come here to mm. get your ass kicked? Because that's what's happening right now. Right. And you're fighting like a pussy. You're being a little bitch. <laughs> and if you, you want to make the last three months of your life worthwhile, then you need to go out there and fight the way you trained. Right. You know? Because you you're going to knock this guy out, or you got to get a finish if you're going to win this fight. I liked what Henan Barrow's um, coach said to him when he was losing to TJ Dillashaw for the first fight, right? Which was? Which was, he said, um, Cut him off, think cut of him your, off. No, no, you, no, 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 no. Hello, hello. Hello. No, <laughs> no, no he said, no. Fuck no, governor. <laughs> hello, governor. No, he said, um, um, 
Think about your family. Oh, Lord. Uh, right, he heavy. ran deep, right? I, you have it's kids. like my son's got leukemia. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, fucking, I'm about to kill myself. Right. And when he said that, I was just like, holy shit. I don't know if I want to want to hear that. You know what? I didn't because when I swam, yeah, I my mom used to try to do that. Yeah, we don't have we got to pay our electricity bills. Like she, I was eight years old. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, she would say that when you're losing. No, no, because I was part of the. Philippine. How could you listen to her when in the water? No, no, no. So like, <laughs> what are you awful? So like over? when I was in the Philippine team, they would pay you for every race that you would win. The government uh. like gives you these things, right? And that's what she would say. Like I, w I remember being twelve, and she that those were her exact words. Think about the family. Think about our electricity bill. Yeah. Wow. No, no, but that's but that is why you do it. You know, you uh. are doing it. I mean, fighters, listen. You know, we're not. I'm sure if there was another way of earning good money, we'd do it. We'd mm. figure it out. And generally, we do towards the end after you get a career. Then it opens doors. But but the reason why you put yourself through that is for your family. So yeah, that's great advice to think of your family right now. Think right. of your kids, think what, what you're trying to give them. Because guess what? You're dancing around like a little bitch right now. Yeah. <laughs> that isn't helping your kids. Right. Okay? What if your coach doesn't think that you can do it? Like for instance, <laughs> it's- the, I'm it's, sure they've thought that about me. And they're like, right, oh right. God, what are we going to do? Just I wouldn't like, want my coach to go, you're, you're killing it, champ. <laughs> <laughs> right? My eye is falling out, right? And I'd be like- Really? Whoa, 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 yeah, whoa. You're why, up on why every... you go with the eye stuff? <laughs> the like, you, just like you. Rebecca, start the car. <laughs> Rebecca. Isn't that what Ronda Rousey's corner did? Oh, against yeah. Against Holly Holm? That's right. I remember. They're like, yeah. you're killing it, you're doing. Yeah, you're doing it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she's like, really? <laughs> and she went out there. Oh, that... And remember that one move that Holly did where Ronda tried... Oh, we're on to try to punch, and then she did a switcheroo, and Rhonda just kind of ran across the. You guys are friends again, so don't oh, ruin you know, that. Oh, we talked yeah. so tell oh, Mike oh, yeah. and Rebecca. Uh, they talked, or Bobby talked a little shit about right. Rhonda on the podcast, oh, oh, and then I... Rhonda confronted him in person. Oh no way! <laughs> That's hilarious. I shit my pants. Oh my god! I shit my pants. I shit you should have seen him. I shit my pants. I shit my pants. <laughs> oh my god! Say that again. I shit my pants. I shit my. I farted, and a little oozy poo came out. Oh god! That's hey, so fucking. Scary That's our life right now. I know. Right. So no, 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 no. Seriously, that's our life. <laughs> have we started? Yeah, we have started. Uh, uh, no, yeah, my, but I, uh, I not technically though. I have a German Shepherd. What does I, that mean? Well, he can't take is a it... shit right now. Uh, oh, dog. It's oh, a dog. oh, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, it's a dog. Yeah. I know you guys like to eat. That, we like. To eat <laughs> Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> but, uh, I haven't no, heard no, that no. in a long time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, listen, listen. They're delicious, so, though. Yeah. Have you ever had puppy sashimi? <laughs> ah, it haven't. melts right in your mouth. So good. <laughs> it's like Toro. No, no, no. It's like Toro. He <laughs> can't take his shit right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's constantly straining. Mm, he's trying to squeeze it out. Yeah. It's been a long, long time. Anyway, his own nervous system is attacking him because his immune system, pardon me. Mm. My wife had a microphone. She'd explain better. I'm going to butcher this, but I'll try. Mm. So his immune system is attacking him and it's attacking his anus. And tons of scar tissue has developed oh. around there. Oh, so he no. can't actually take his shit. Oh, no. So we had this procedure done last Friday where they insert a balloon mm -hmm. into his anus. Uh -huh. and then sh 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 they pump up the balloon uh -huh. and it spreads the anal passage of <laughs> Right? <laughs> Rips the arsehole to shreds. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully yeah. he can pass. Uh, now he has uh, been passing a lot. Uh, you just mentioned diarrhea and shit. And I'm like, that's <laughs> my yeah. wife's life right now. Really? Oh, so poor puppy. Yeah, sorry, babe. <laughs> so are you the one that's sticking the contraption in the dog's butthole? <laughs> I just clean up after him. Or you just clean up. Yeah, I just deal with all the nasty diarrhea all over the house. Yeah, but who put you who puts the tube in his ass? Oh no, that was done by a vet. Oh, a vet does that. Yeah, yeah. that was he was like out. Under yeah. general anesthetic because that would have been very painful. So he was out. Uh, yes, <laughs> yeah. Can I ask you another question since yes. we have you on the mic, right? Um, during the pandemic, has him has he been driving you crazy? He drives me crazy without the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And it, uh, are you losing your mind? <laughs> no, no, no. My moment, okay? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Are you losing your mind? How are you guys dealing with each other? Um, I think. Love you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've been handling it fine. We're to we're together a lot anyway because obviously he doesn't work a nine to five job. Like mm. we're with each other a lot, and then he'll go away, and then we won't see each other for maybe a couple of weeks. So right. we're used to spending kind of long periods of time together. So mm. it's no big deal. Like we had maybe a rough week. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. no, 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 uh, not yet, not yet. <laughs> Please, not yet, not yet. Please, one, one last question. One, one last question. Just one last question. One last. 
one, one last question, all right? So if when you guys do fight, though, because this is so interesting to me, um, what, would, what would be something that you would fight about? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Michael would <laughs> think that I may perhaps have a tone with him or I'm oh getting snappy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. then I may, like... You know, he'll snap at me, so then I'll snap back, and it just goes from there. It's, right. You know, I don't have a tone, FYI. It's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's just your regular beautiful voice, but he interprets it as a tone <laughs> because of his own issues. <laughs> Maybe it's that it's fucked correct. up eye he has or something. You know what I mean? It's but, all Michael's fault. <laughs> yeah. I should be allowed to have a tone now and again you because you put me through it. I can have a tone now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to give it <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Do me a favor, go wait in the car. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> go in the car. Keep the engine. All right, running. so I'm going to start the podcast. Oh, now. we have to start. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> thirty minutes. Well, we're, th we're thirty minutes in, but um, I'm going to um, um, start, and then I don't say your name until I bring you up. Although we're going to keep all the stuff in. Sure. Yeah. All right. So, okay. um, countdown. How's that song go from Annie? We have got yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We can start again. Okay. Five, <laughs> a one, a two, a one, two, ready, go. Maybe far away, or maybe real nearby. Mm -hmm. Something like that. What a great musical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love little Annie, little redheaded freak. Welcome to another episode of Tiger yeah. Belly. Oh, you nailed it. What a beautiful day, mm -hmm. night. I mean, we waited 15 hours for our guest. Um, he finally <laughs> arrived. Um, I've never waited 15 hours for our guest, but I'll introduce him in a second. Um, we have a celebration real quick before we get into saying things. Um, you know, for me, um, you know, I love Kalila, and um, she is my partner for life. When you said Kalila just now, I didn't know who that was. You. I know, but I I had a moment like my brain froze for a second. I was like, well, who's that? Yeah, and yeah. then I realized it was me. Yeah. I dissociated. She dissociated from herself. And um I was about you see, what's what's the matter? He's not allowed to talk. No, 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 no. I'm just whispering while you guys ignore us. <laughs> I, I know, I know. While you're ignoring us, we're kind of just ignoring you. <laughs> um, I know, no, no, no. I, my friend has a baby called Kalila. Oh. Ah. And I'm like, Kalila, because I always say Kalila and I always get uh, corrected. Yeah. Well, it's like, true because, like, Kalila is the correct Arabic name. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. There yeah. you go. He's Muslim as well, so that makes sense. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, I always say Kalila. I don't yeah. know why. It just looks like a Kalila when I do you like it. Do you like breaking the rules of somebody else's podcast? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't. You, you, you why, actually <laughs> confronted me. I you was think you're Bane? I was <laughs> mouthing. You think you're I, fucking Bane all of a sudden? I was listen, mouthing to listen, my wife. I was face. I'm a little, I'm a little fat Asian guy, right? A fatty little ching chong, okay? Whoa! Right, right. You could destroy me with a fucking like flick, okay? But I'm going to say this <laughs> no, right with now. The I'm fucking not fucking afraid force of you. Force field I'm around. Not, I, I'm right. not afraid of you. All right, you fucking one-eyed freak. All right. Listen. <laughs> you want to know the truth? You want to know the truth? What? What? It's a very awkward time of the day. I mean, do we eat before? Do we eat after? <laughs> I know, that's true. That's I was, true, that's I was true. down the street. I was having food. I couldn't come in here and do this podcast on an episode. Oh, you were eating? Yes. <laughs> All right. We'll you get to that in a second. Or let, me just finish this. Me. let me just finish this <laughs> intro, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy so much. So anyway, um, anyway, welcome back um, to the, the pr program. Um, I'm your captain, Bob. And um, I was about to break up with Kalila. Um, oh, what? Yes, yeah, I was. I, for, for a couple of months, I was thinking about it because... Wait, hang on. For a couple um, months? Yeah, yeah, but just listen to me. Just li let me finish my fucking point, right? <laughs> the, the, the one thing that, I, you know, that was irritating me happened today, right? And now I'm going to stay with you. I don't, I'm so confused. You were verified on Instagram. Give her a round of applause. Oh, oh she my was verified God. on Instagram today, and so now I can stay with her. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big deal. Yeah, it's a very big deal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was like, am I dating a fucking loser over here? <laughs> I mean, a nothing woman? And then uh, she's now she got verified. verified. What? Trying to get verified. Yeah. My, yeah. You my, will. my wife for you, the longest you will. time. Yeah. You know, he's yeah. been calling me a peasant for the past eight years. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, I'm sorry, but I can't respect you it if until verb. you get the blue check mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I basically begged Instagram for the sake of our <laughs> she relationship. Did, she did. She did. And I she said, begged Friday. Who I've did never you seen too. That's what she I want. She called somebody and she goes, uh, uh, "Can I be verified, please?" I don't know what she did. 
I'll suck your dick. I don't know what you. <laughs> I don't know what you said, but you know what I mean. You did. Thank you. Yeah, so you much. was. So give her. I that's did. a that's a very big deal. All right. Big deal. <laughs> oh so um, I want to introduce our guest. Um, our guest is a freak of nature. Um, I um, I was a fan of him f- for a very long time, and and then when he did our podcast, I couldn't even believe that we could get him. There's a couple of guys like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, I, I'm I'm you know we had the guitarist of the Pixies on recently that was a big like big surprise for me mm-hmm. and a nice because somebody that i watch on i listen to his music and then it's like some people i watch on television and i'm a big mma fan and so um you know th- this is a factual thing he has one of the biggest dicks in the U- from the uk Back, um yeah. yeah it goes so um, prince Vegas. charles yeah. right david attenborough yeah. they have bigger dicks um <laughs> <laughs> they do. They do. You can just tell. Yeah, you, you can tell, tell that they do. Right? They have thicker, you know, longer, you know what yeah. I mean, more powerful penises, you know. <laughs> but he's up there. He's in the top twenty in terms of penises. <laughs> Who's, who else is above him? Tom Hardy for sure. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, Benedict, Benedict Bon Cumber Cumber. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I love him. You know what I mean? What a great actor. You know. And I think also Judy Dench probably has one. <laughs> way, <laughs> way, way bigger, way, way bigger, bigger dick than you know what I mean? Because uh, it formed her, her lips are so long it, it forms <laughs> into a penis and. Um, and so um, he's also now a, a, a UFC commentator mm-hmm. via ESPN, mm-hmm. right? You know, although we didn't see hear him Saturday, I don't know what the fuck. Maybe <laughs> lazy or something, but um, <laughs> didn't want to fly over there. But um, did I bring up a sore point? Um, but he's no. one of our favorite guys. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a wonderful human being, very funny too. Great father. Oh yeah, great father. Oh. You know, right? his what son. Is, can his, I ask? No, I, I, I fuck it. And, um, <laughs> fuck. Um, <laughs> Don't, My, hey, don't Michael Bisbing. Give her a round of applause. Michael Bisbing. Give another don't guest bring well. a guest on and not let me talk. <laughs> okay, go ahead. No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, Michael, it's good to see you. You ate, but what'd you eat before you came here? No, it was bad. It was bad. So, we were planning on getting something to eat afterwards. Uh, obviously, my wife's here as well. So, I said, come with me. Carpool, of course, it does come in handy. But um, I'm like, yeah, we'll go do the show and then we'll get some food afterwards. And then, halfway here, I'm like, oh, I can't do it. I am starving. Mm. And I don't know what you get like when you're hungry, but there's no way I could sit here and do this show sure. and talk and be funny and upbeat. All I would be thinking about is food and oh. I'm very angry. Right. I'm like, I've got to do it. I've got to eat. So we 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 pulled over, didn't we, into like several places because mm. I was trying to be respectful. I thought, right, the quickest thing, there's got to be like an in and out burger or something like mm. that. And we couldn't find one. I fucking pulled into this one place. There was a, uh, a waffle house just down the street. Mm. We pull over, we <laughs> fucking park up. I'm like, we'll get something quick. Yeah. I run in, they've, they've stopped serving, they're only doing drinks. Oh. I fucking scuffed my, uh, the wheels of my car trying to fucking go in. So you owe me for that. Uh-huh. Uh, mm. And then where did we eat? Oh, some shitty little Italian place. You know, you could... I ordered a sandwich. The quickest thing on the menu, it took about 35 minutes. (laughs) I I must have went in six times to the... He was a lovely old guy, but I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a sandwich. Yeah. And you know what I I determined we were waiting for? Because the sandwich, it it wasn't like they cooked a nice piece of steak or anything. Mm. It was like shitty steak from the supermarket. Right. It was the fries. Mm. And I I don't even want the fries. The fries were scalding. You know what I mean? They were good. No, it's scalding hot. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't eat the you fries. Like cold, you like cold fries? What the I fuck don't are you want about? the fries. I want the sandwich. I don't ah, eat the okay, 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 that I get comes it. with it. Right, right, right. You know, I'm not a fat American. Yeah. I don't need whoa. to eat the fries. Whoa, 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 whoa. Or just, just, just FYI, you know, you could have like come here on time. Just FYI, and seven o'clock. I know. I know just four o'clock. Hello, hello, it's and, impossible. And then we could have like we, you know, we could have done. A Postmates thing. You got anything you wanted. We get Postmates <laughs> from Morton's. Like, whatever you wanted, oh, yeah. we would have probably bought for you. You know? That could have been also an option. Well, you could have explained this to me. Maybe protocol going forward. We're all learning. <laughs> okay, that's true. That <laughs> We're is all true. learning, Bobby. From that's now true. on going forward, the guests, you, you show, show them a menu. Right. What would you like? Yeah. I would have liked sparkling water, but still. <laughs> I know, but this water, right? What's it called? Mountain, Mountain Valley. Mountain Valley is very fancy. Google it later, okay? It's very fancy. Okay, no, it tastes fancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, guys, we're going to take a really quick break to talk about one of our favorite sponsors. For hymns, 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 if you know you do need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. True. You guys, um, I have to um, be honest with you. Um, my hairline is receding. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. And um, I've... I have gone f- through four hymns mm-hmm. to get medication for my my hairline. Nice. Um, and it's it's 
it was so easy. It was so easy to do. Sixty-six mm-hmm. percent of men start losing their hair by thirty-five. Do you know that, George? Yeah, George. And once you've noticed thinning hair, it can be too late sometimes. Yeah. It's that hairline slowly starting to move backwards. Any bald spots yet? The best way to prevent more hair loss is just do something about it while you still have some. Because mm-hmm. this is when I when I read this, I knew I had to do it. Clicked. It clicked. It clicked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it clicked. Mm-hmm. Why do guys turn to weird solutions like stuff at that gas station and whatnot? No. You know, snake oil, right? Mm-hmm. Um, no more awkward in-person doctor mm-hmm. visits or long mm-hmm. pharmacy lines. Hims was created by a guy who knows some men's health conversations are easier online than in person. The guy's name is John. John Maybe Kimmel. Not. For Hims connects you to <laughs> licensed <laughs> medical professionals online, which could save you hours. Completely confidential and discreet. Tell us more about it, Gil. Yeah. Today, Hims is giving you their best offer yet. If you're not happy with the results after 90 days, Hims will give you a full refund. And right now, our listeners, Tiger Belly, can get their first visit absolutely free. Go to forhims.com slash belly. That's forhims.com dot com slash belly disclaimer full refund of price paid available for first 90 days supply refund requests must be made between 90 and 180 days after product shipment delivered prescription products require an online consultation with a medical professional who will determine if a prescription is appropriate restrictions apply see website for full details and important safety information once again once again everyone that's forehands.com slash belly enjoy the rest of this show. So let me ask you, are there any kids in the house right now? Yes. Why wouldn't there be kids in the house? I forgot how old the kids are. 19, 17, and 10. Yeah. Oh, so the, ten, so the 17 year old and the 10 year old is at home right now. Correct, Amanda. Right, and the 17 year old is taking care of the 10 year old. Correct, Amanda. Right, because she's, she's the 17 year old is a female. She's, she's a your daughter. Female. She's my daughter. Yeah. And the 10 year old, let me guess, is uh, your son. Correct. Yeah, see? Your powers of deduction yeah, yeah. are just out. And you have a 19 year old who's a son. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. What else did go. Google Wait, tell you? No, no, no. I didn't Google. I'm, I'm, this is from our last fucking thing. Uh-huh. Right? Okay. I your remember son nothing about you. Is also, I know you don't. And your son is a um, he's a wrestler. Uh-huh. Correct. Very the talented. Vietnamese girlfriend. Vietnamese girlfriend. Correct. Do you like her? I love her. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, she's she's very very sweet. Oh. Yeah, she's lovely. Yeah. Sorry, the relationship is going very well. <laughs> 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 Update for our fans. <laughs> yeah, but it shouldn't, should it? Because she lives in Texas now. Oh, oh. For college. Lives, pardon me? For college? Yeah. No, no, no. They just moved to Texas. The family uh, moved oh. to Texas. What? Yeah, she's going to college there. Yeah, but the family lives in Texas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's his first love. Wow. It's his first love, right. Um, Hard, are, long distance. I know. You know. So does he go over there to visit? Because Yeah, he's actually flying back from there right now as wow. we speak. Wow. He's been making it work. How cute. Because when I was 17, 18, oh my God, my yeah. neck was on a swivel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was thirst for dick. I was thirsty for dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And she did it. I'll tell you right. I, I hear all the did, stories. Look at you. I hear all the stories. No, I'm the last. Res- I'm the yeah. like. You know what I am? She because I know the she because she generally get dates. Excuse do- you. Be careful. Proceed with caution, but go ahead. <laughs> generally dates what? Do not get in trouble. Ooh. Athletic been- looking guys. Okay, that's not fun. Right, yeah. like with guys with abs and, you know, <laughs> not dwarves like me. I don't go searching for them. I, I know. Happen- I'm your first dwarf. <laughs> right? For the community. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she looked at me and she went, you know, these athletic guys, you know what I mean? They make my coochie feel good. No, no, they, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, uh, but then I'm going to go with, you know. I was feeling a little bit more charitable. I'm looking for yellow days. clits. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because his penis is like a yellow clit. You know, it's like a thick, it's like a button. You know what I mean? It's like smashed. You know what I mean? It's small. I'm with it. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? Juices come out. Whatever. Hey, it works. Yeah, yeah. It works. You, got kids? <laughs> you guys got kids? No, we don't. No. Yeah, you don't know it works. <laughs> no. We know it works. Oh, we know, we know it works. Okay. We know it works. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I aborted I'm... his dwarf baby. <laughs> <laughs> Wise move. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, we, we, you know, I've been, I've been thinking, Mike, um, I've been thinking about, because um, I, I just turned 49. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Am I older than you? You are, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does yeah. It, it's weird, huh? You look so good. Thank you. I'm amazed. 49. Yeah. I'm 49. Wow. So um, I've been telling her, I go, I think, I'm, I, think I want a baby now. <laughs> it's and a little late she, in the day, isn't it? No, no, I don't think so. 40 fucking. Look know. at Steve I, Martin. I, look at Steve Martin. Yeah, that's Steve Martin. Years. I hate to say it, but your comedy career is not amounting <laughs> to fucking Steve Martin. Okay? You know, Steve Martin can do that. I know, but the last You're time. You're Bobby Lee. I know, but the last time. <laughs> listen, fuckface. The last, ah. the last time you came out and did our podcast, did I do, do it in front of our, my apartment? You did. Look at where we are now. You're going. I'm growing. You are. Right? Uh, so why can't I have a baby now? Do you live here? Yeah. 
It's very nice. Thank you. I As be... I drove up, I was like, oh, Bobby's yeah, going so up. We're, 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 we're moving. Look yes. at this. Last place was a real shithole. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I'm never coming here again. It was only when I saw a different address. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, yeah, yeah, I'll go. But only if yeah. my wife comes. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, is it worth it? Is what? Having children. Of course. <laughs> what is that it? Pass the baton. got no input whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, you, I'm, yes. So I'm what, 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 okay, what, give me the three things, right, why it's worth it. Purpose. Mm. Oh, it gives you purpose. Gives you purpose. Right. Um, it's fun. It's Believe it fun. Or not, I can I, see that. I can see that. It's, it's fun. fun. Yeah. And what's another one, babe? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah. Yeah. Built in babysitters. Built yeah, in you don't babysitters. have kids. You don't need babysitters. Yeah, you don't anyway. <laughs> yeah. I, I, okay. Too, but those are two big ones. Well, though. the most compelling thing for me is the fun. Because I like, I feel like we're both really childlike at heart. And yeah. we like, you know, playing around. Oh, look at this room. Mom. This is not a 49-year-old yeah. room. This isn't a 49-year-old <laughs> yeah, 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 it, yeah. it It changes everything. It changes your perspective of everything. Like a couple of my buddies just have kids, just having kids at the moment. I texted him the other day. I was like, yep, your life's going to change. Get ready, bud. You know, and I mean that in the best possible way. They're like, whoa, what do you mean? I'm like, no, 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 just little things. You know, it's not about you anymore. Yeah. Everything you do is for your children. Like right now, you're just, you know, stroking your own ego. It's all about Bobby Lee, Bobby Lee, Bobby Lee. How can I become like Steve Martin one day? It's never going to happen. <laughs> fuck it. I'll, I'll invite Michael Bisping up here after a two-hour drive. I'll ridicule him. I'll make fun of him in front of his wife. And I'll send him into the darkness. You know? But when you've got children, Bobby, yeah, 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 it's yeah, not yeah. about that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, so what you're saying is, is that it, um, you, 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 you're not as selfish, right? And then what you said, purpose, right? I like that. It's like it gives me. Here's why I want to make baby. I think. Just listen. Hear me out. He already told you it's too late. It's a little too late. It's me. not too late. You're it's gonna not, pull you, your dad had pull you when he was sixty. It's true. Well, you ride on track. <laughs> you know Fuck what I mean? You know, but, far away, Bobby. Fuck Let's you, go. English bastard. But, but yeah. I spent most of my teenage years caring for an ailing, dying father, which was a horrible experience. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That maybe Kalila's going to have to go through it. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right. So maybe not then. You can do it. Because, you know, I, you know, last week I worked with, I don't know, we talked about it. Vince. How do you know my bits work? It does work. Because six years ago at work, nothing yeah, happened. You didn't, you didn't get in a car accident. <laughs> Just, yeah, yeah. just the vagina. Your badge wasn't in a fucking mangled car accident. Your vagina. I've seen it recently. It's fr <laughs> it looks fresh and it looks like a flower. Thank you. That's a really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't look damaged. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's no heat rash or pimples on it or anything like that. It looks fresh. Well, when your demon baby gets up in there, yeah, you yeah know maybe. What, what, it, what it'll do? Yeah, it's my baby's gonna be like the baby from Incredibles. A powerful. It's just turn into fucking fireball. You know what I mean? It's gonna blast her shit out. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. But I, I really, I, <laughs> but I really, why are you have sand in your? Oh, because I was at the beach. Vagina. <laughs> <laughs> why is there sand in your vag? Oh, that's weird. Um, let's talk about the fights Saturday night. So, um, do you see all of the fights? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The main card. The main card, yeah. The main too. card, yeah. Let me ask you a question. What happened to Reyes? Reyes? Dominic He's, Reyes? Yeah, or? he seemed. So tentative. Yeah, you know. He went in with John Jones, right? I thought he won that fight. I think what happened was that when he fought John Jones, because he, he he probably did win that fight, if you ask me. Yeah. But for the first half of the fight, he was kicking his ass. And for the second half of the fight, he kind of got his ass kicked. Mm -hmm. I've been there myself when I used to kickbox back in the day. And when that happens, you learn a lesson about pacing yourself uh, so I think he was pacing himself for a five round fight because he didn't want to get tired again because uh, it's the loneliest place in the world when you're in the octagon and you got nowhere to hide you got no team to rely on yeah. you know and you've just got another killer trying to knock your fucking head off Yeah, so it's a very lonely pace, place yeah. so I think he was um, yeah just pacing himself for a longer fight and yeah he got clipped when you're when you're in a, a fight, like you're in the fourth round, right? Because you've been in so many battles, right? Does time, does time go?
go by quickly or slowly? So slow. I bet it does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the it slowest does. ever. Seriously, but guess what? Those 60, me- si- uh, 60 seconds on the stool, yeah. boom, flies by. Just like that. But if you're in there and you look at the clock, because you know you're in there and you can have a little look at the big screen and go, oh, fuck, 45 seconds left. Whew, thank fuck, I'm almost out of this round. Oh, Jesus wow. Christ, this one's not going well. You know what I mean? <laughs> but those 45 seconds, it can last like a lifetime. Uh, a lifetime. But uh, then you sit on your stool and that's 60 seconds. Boom. There you go, champ. <laughs> and you go, you're yeah. like, fuck off. I just sat down. Yeah. You're like, no, I yeah. have to go. Have you ever gone into the next round when they said get up and go into the next round where you thought, I'm not ready? Or like, I, I haven't caught my breath yet? No. You usually catch your breath. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, because I learned from that kickboxing fight when I was younger. Uh, so I always made sure I was in good shape. Right. That's the best weapon you can have as a fighter. Of yeah. course, you need all the skills. But if you don't have the cardio and you run out of stamina, then it doesn't matter how good you are because you're, you're, you're screwed. Mm. Now, let me ask you this. Do you know, just with, without your coaches and stuff, do you know in your head, am I winning or losing? Yes. How? Because you get a feeling every time you get cracked in the face. <laughs> yeah, but you're cracking him on the face too. He's yeah, like, you kind of like, I feel like I've, he's hit me more than I've hit him. Okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what day of the week it is. I've got blood pouring out of every orifice. When oh I look at God. him, he's got no blood. Okay, yeah. so I'm just going to go out on a limb here and assume that maybe I lost that round. <laughs> You know, and generally, I'm there. Generally, I'm, you know, kind of... Yeah, or, yeah. or you're unconscious on the floor. You're like, yeah, did I lose that one? Oh. Yeah, no, no, you can tell. Yeah, and because you're constantly scoring as a fighter. Oh, uh, you, you know are. I mean? Well, you know, because it's important. Yeah, because I'm, when I'm watching, because I'm a huge fan, I, I just have these questions, and you've lived it, obviously. You know what I mean? You're a champ, right? And you're a champ forever in my heart, right? Now, let me ask you something. When you, when you go five rounds, and the other person's called the winner, right? How does that feel? Are you relieved that you get to go home or are you super devastated? What do you mean if you've lost? Yes. Um, I mean, I never got too devastated, did I, Beck? You got to keep it in perspective. Some people do. Like I remember when I used to train in England prior to the UFC and I'd fight on smaller events. You know, and we all want to do well. We all want to make it to the UFC. We all want to make money. But at the end of the day, we're, we're choosing you know, to fight in a fucking cage for a living, let's be honest. Right. And someone's going to win and someone's going to lose. Right. You know, if you're man enough to go out there and put a beating on someone, you're going to be man enough to accept defeat as well. Yeah. I know these couple of pussies that I was training with crying their fucking eyes out in the locker room. Uh-huh. Tom Blackledge, the biggest pussy I've ever met in my life. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, Get yeah. it together, man. Yeah. Said, I know it matters. It matters to me, but I didn't lose. So You're right. So yeah, yeah, no, no, of course. But for me, um, yeah, I, I never got too upset. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, you lose money and you, it, it derails your career to a certain extent. Sure. But at the end of the day, look at the pluses. You know, yeah, doing, doing a job I love, getting paid handsomely, fighting on TV, living the dream, if you will, depending on what your dream is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. yeah, listen, yeah, you can be disappointed, but you, you know, it's. I have it's, another question on, about Saturday. Um, Sanchez, you think you should retire? Diego. Yeah. No, I think you should fight Conor McGregor. <laughs> what, 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 what is yeah, that? Tell me what that happened. <gasps> what was that? Wait, what so was that? I saw that he had released those DMs. Yeah. And yeah, he yeah. did ask for Diego. He did. He asked yeah. to fight Diego Sanchez, yeah. So I was really perplexed by that. Hey, you, you know, we got the same manager, so I don't want to, you know. Right, right, right. I, well, that's, I, I don't want to piss up, shit on my own doorstep. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, you know, I don't know. It's, it's con- You might as well just ask for Tank Abbott. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically saying give me someone I know I'm gonna beat yeah you know which kind of goes against the, uh, the the for want of a cliched expression the samurai spirit of it all right <laughs> to, yeah, quote, yeah. to quote Luke Rockhold yeah, yeah. Mr. Handsome he's, he's, he's a samurai yeah man. yeah yeah but when you when you beat one of them when you won <laughs> when you, when you won him come on were you, were you, were you probably... there when he, when he beat Luke Rockhold were you there yeah. yeah. How did you feel? Rebecca, do you go to all the fights? Uh, as many as I can. Uh, yeah, I used yeah. to go to most of them. Yeah. Um, sometimes if they were really far, like Brazil. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm and what's the I'm what's the there. general feeling since you've, you, towards the end of it all, like, are you just, are you, are you still at the edge of your seat or do you just have this, like, radical acceptance of whatever happens, happens? Um, whatever happens, happens. I mean, of course, I always wanted she him to. It. 
I ha- I did. I hated it. And when it comes to fight time, fight night, I used to just think, oh my god, why can't I just do a normal job? Why am I having to <laughs> wow. through this? Why can't he work in an office or do something normal? This is ridiculous. Yeah. No. No. Um, no. I I want to ask her a couple more questions. <laughs> Thank you. That's fucking rude. What you're doing. Okay. Because but, I'm. Yeah. This is such an interesting. Uh, there's there's just things that's fascinating to me. Right. So when you're sitting there watching him, I I, I would assume that I would just be like, if she was fighting, that I wouldn't be able to sleep the night before. Mm -hmm. And I would just be kind of like, almost petrified. Yeah, no, it's definitely like that. Like, I I feel like I can't deal with anything in my life before that fight. Like, everything has to come after. Even just something so simple as like a doctor's appointment or something. It's like, I can't deal with that. I have Mm. to make it for after. Like, everything just becomes so overwhelming Mm. for me. He doesn't react that way i don't know you seem to be able to take it all in your stride a little better but from my perspective i would be freaking out yeah completely. so when he beat luke you must have been just like oh it was ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah yeah. i think it was the happiest night of my life it was that night oh. yeah 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 yeah, yeah because be? like also but with the joy comes that just that relief it's always relief whenever he wins just the relief is ridiculous that's the main emotion just so relieved wow but it's such a that was i remember being at such a high profile fight mm-hmm. and also i i'll be honest with you I didn't think you were going to win. <laughs> well, that, that, that <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't think you were going to win. Well, that's what I was going to say about her. Let's be honest. You probably thought I was going to lose as well. That's yeah. why I was trying to pull the microphone over. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought you were going to lose. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I was very confident. That's my yeah. next question. Like, if do you ever have those thoughts? Like, I think that this is the wrong fight for him. Or do you just have absolute faith in him? I, yeah, there is a degree of absolute faith, but of course your mind always wanders to the to the possibilities of what might happen. That's you know, mm. has happened. Mm. Um, so, you know, yeah, er, kind of every emotion kind of washes over you. But whilst he's fighting, I just say I'm a nervous ball of tension. Like I can't actually talk. I can't move. Yeah. It's yeah. just yeah. I go pale. It's not a pretty sight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, she's a nightmare. She's a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I mean in a good way yeah, in, yeah. In, in a very nice way that I like to see because like you know uh, I'm not naming any names or even thinking about someone in particular but sometimes you see and I have seen it many times where the wife of a fighter maybe of a championship fighter they're there and they're loving the moment and they mm. and they, they love the attention and they think it's uh. all about them and they're front row and they've got their fucking you know they're, 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 they're trying to show off as much as possible and mm. they're wearing the blingiest shit they can mm-hmm. and they want to be seen on t- I've seen it and it's I've gross. seen them and I've seen them not give a fuck when their husband gets beaten and knocked out and stuff and they're still doing selfies and shit I've oh, seen it God. oh my God you, you know what I'm saying? I can't. And Rebecca, on the flip side, is like, she, she hates it. She she doesn't want anyone to speak to her. Even at the fight night, she just wants to sit there and be very insular. She wants to be left alone. She doesn't want people, you know, bugging her. She she hates it. And when I fought Rockhold, uh, you know, when the fight was made, she said, uh, okay, so that's it, Michael. You finally got your title shot, what you always wanted. So you're going to retire after this one? Oh. Oh. And I was like, well, you know, if, if, if I get beat, then yeah, I'll retire. But if I win... You're out of your fucking mind. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Because yeah. now I finally start to get some, make some real money because I'll be the champ. Right. You know. But yeah. So that's kind of because I how remember she always was Rebecca and your kids were on stage, like went on. At, you know when yeah. you, you're celebrating, and I remember feeling I don't really like I don't have a photographic memory, but the sense that I got was I remember going, "Oh, he's got a great family." <laughs> you're, 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 I really, honestly, the joy in the your kids, you know, face. And just the joy that we felt watching it was just a uh, a memorable moment. Let's you know? back up a second. Yeah. I don't think uh-huh. you have a very <laughs> clear recollection of uh, that fight night. I have, no, we, I don't. We have video well, footage. He, we have video footage of you reacting to Bisping oh. winning. Oh, or winning I need against to see Rockwell. this. I need to see I will, the truth. I will look for it. Well, you keep wait, keep wait, going. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> sit down, Bobby. Relax. <laughs> this is gonna be really awkward. You have sit down. No, 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 a force field in between you and me. Don't worry, I'm retired. Okay, what is it? What is it? Sit down. This is gonna get really awkward for you in okay, a second. Okay, okay, okay. So we had a we had our entire family <laughs> over, and your brother and I. You were acting like the oracle. You said there was not a chance in fucking hell that he could ever, <laughs> or anyone. And he wonders it. why I won't give him a picture at the comedy show. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember this. And then your brother and I and Gilbert, we said, I wouldn't, 
I wouldn't speak so fast. We had you, man. The whole night we had. We you. had you. We had, and then he knocks him out, and you ran to three different bedrooms, came back with your tail between your legs, and you were in total disbelief. Do you remember that? You said there was not a chance in Thanks, fucking Bobby. hell. Thanks, Bobby. I thought we were I know. right there, bud. Hold on. I thought I don't, Bobby I, I, do his podcast. I don't recall it. I don't recall it like that. We have video I feel footage. like we're brothers now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She's crushes me. All right, well, you know we'll, what? I'll send you the video and we'll post this. Yeah, on, yeah, 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 yeah. Breaks Here's my heart. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Wait, hold on. Rewind it. Rewind it. Rewind it. Rewind it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is this gonna embarrass me? No, yes, I, no yes, 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 yes. All right, all right, all right. Bobby's like, I had a thousand on Rockhold. A thousand dollars on Luke Rockhold, then, didn't you? Luke Rockhold is gonna break every bone in his body. This is a real man, guys. He's talking about Luke Rockhold. Luke Rockhold? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Look at Gilbert and I, we were excited because we called you. it. Well, thank you very much, everybody that's showing excitement. And I apologize to the one person that's disappointed, Bobby. <laughs> I love you. You did it for your family. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Be honest, be honest, be honest. You guys recreated this recently. No. 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 Filmed this recently. Bro. You, did. you knew I was coming. You thought, let's play. 2016. Film. 2014. <laughs> well, that's great. Thank you. No, let, let well, with this guy, of course I got a suspicious mind. Because he's from San Diego. Yeah, here's so. here's the thing. All right, let's <laughs> let's let's regroup. Yeah. Okay. We watch every fight. We watch every one of your fights. Okay. That's that's number one. I haven't had one for a long time. Okay. I know, but we did, right? And I have to be honest with you. Okay. Please. That was very real. I'll tell you why. Because Luke Rockhold is from Santa Cruz or whatever, right? And he skateboards. I'm from San Diego, <laughs> right? So I feel like he's like... Do you skateboard? I used to. <laughs> All right, no, I was going to say, so he's from Santa Cruz, you're from San Diego. Nowhere near each other. <laughs> he skateboards, you don't. <laughs> he's as white as they come. Like, he was Asian as they come. I'm failing to see how, like, you guys are boys and you're connected. How many times is he driven through oh, traffic true. and uh, uh, smog That's true. done the podcast? How many times? Let me ask you this, Michael. Let me ask you this. How many times has Luke Fuckface Rockhold done my podcast? None. Zero. I wouldn't ask him. All right? All right that's so true. That, that is true. That's number two. True. Number, and also, I'm sweating. Here's a, <laughs> here's a second thing, okay? Is, is that, sure, 2016, right? Right? Yeah. Mm. That was the night where I laid down in bed and I became a Michael Bisbing fan. All right. That was the night? That was it? Yes, yes. All right. I and watched your season of The Ultimate. Same. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know what that was. Yes. Okay? You were a little behind. I was a little behind. So mm -hmm. what I'm saying is, is that, okay, yeah, at the time. <laughs> that's a real man. <laughs> so that's a real Shut man. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, everybody. All right. At the time, right, I was rooting for Luke Rockhold. And at the time when it's you okay. beat him, open your eyes. I, I am opening my eyes. I'm Asian, you fuck face. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's as uh, wide as they go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right. And um, and at the time I was rooting for him. And when he, you knocked him out, it was such a shock to my system. But then I was reborn like a phoenix. Wow, oh, the right? catalyst. Yeah. And I and I and I was Heavy. convinced from that day forward, mm -hmm. right, that you were the guy. Okay. <laughs> Do you think when you fought like George St. Pierre that I wanted him to win? I wanted More you to win. More than likely. No. Well, come on. Everybody likes George. Let's be honest. He's a sweetheart. I, I, see, here's the thing. When I met Kalila, I had stopped watching UFC for a long time. A long time. A long like, time. I, I couldn't even I have couldn't, conversations yeah. with you. And oh, so really? the George St. Pierre years, I was in Houston when he lost to Max Ser Matt Serra. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Because okay. I was, because the, the Jordan Peele, you know who directed Get Out? Yes. So the UFC for one night hired me and Jordan Peele to do some sort of comedy thing at the, some red carpet event mm -hmm. for them, right? And they never asked us again, but it was me and Jordan were in Houston when we saw George St. Pierre lose to Matt Serra. And I remember the, everyone was shocked. And I was so like not involved that I didn't even know that that was a big deal. Yeah. Right, it's when I met her on Tinder. Because do you always have? <laughs> I met her on Tinder, and she was a big fan. I slowly got back into the UFC. Right, <laughs> so for me, you know, I wasn't a George St. Pierre. Okay, fan. okay, hold on. Let me, let me just stop you right there. 
<sighs> I'm going to give you some advice, Bobby. <laughs> I don't need advice. Well, I'm going I'm I'm to give you some. And you're going to hear this. And you're going to go, oh, interesting. Okay, yeah, I'll okay. take that on board. Okay. Next time you're with a fighter, right? And, you know, you're clearly making my fighting ability the, <laughs> the conversation piece. Mm-hmm. Right. And you talk about a former opponent of mine. Yes. Don't intro the conversation about the opponent who beat me by saying, oh, yeah, I remember watching him get his fucking ass kicked one time. And then he went on to beat you. <laughs> So a roundabout slap in the face for me. That was weird. That was kind of weird. Yeah, it's, it's like, oh yeah, yeah, I remember you got beat up that one time. They got his ass kicked. All right, you're right. You're right. You know what I mean? Just say, wow, the greatest of all time, George Saint Pierre. He was unstoppable. Yeah, that's that would have been better. Don't go. I remember when he got his fucking ass kicked <laughs> of that short little uh, fat guy, Matt Serra. All right. <laughs> You know what I mean? All right, all right. It's What's a backhanded that? compliment. I'm just learning. But the, I always saw that as a fluke. Wasn't it like a that spinning a back fist or something? No, oh, no, he caught him. You know. Okay, so I want to say this. Okay, kind of fluky, but he yeah. caught. I did not go to journalism school. Okay. <laughs> I, all right, I never went to college. Okay, I'm just telling you that I'm just like this little weird Korean fella. You know what I mean? In 1995, I walked by a comedy club, and I signed up for an amateur night. I have no. Is that true? Yeah, I have wow. no skills whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And I went I up and I this. yeah, she gonna. I have. I don't know anything. Nothing. Right. So, um, <laughs> in terms of talking to people and being a journalist or an interviewer, I don't know what I'm doing. You don't right? need to be a. Journalist. I know my point. My point is is that you know, um, I think that. Um, you know, I apologize. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, I don't. I don't. No, I, I want no, to. I'm trying. I, I want I'm to. Trying to, to make you a better person. I want. To, I know. I want to do it. I'm trying to make you. I want to learn. Okay. <laughs> I, I fucked it up, right? <laughs> so there's two things I fucked up, right? I fucked up the Luke Rockhold thing, right? And I fucked up the fucking George St. Pierre thing, right? It's and, okay. and and I'm learning as I go, okay? And I apologize, okay? Apology. Let's Not go- necessary. Okay, let's talk about... wholly accepted. Let's talk about Saturday again, okay? <laughs> so do you think that um, um, the style bender is... Because um, people are saying he's goat, right? I- that's a that's that when people throw that out, mm-hmm. there's been so many great eras in the sport, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And um, he is very unique, right? What, how do you place him in the middle way in terms of middleweight um, fi- fighters? Yeah, well, I mean, he's the champion of the world right now, so right? He, so he's number one, mm. and rightly so. I mean, if you look at who he's beaten oh my God. and how he beats them, you know, I mean. I'll be honest, prior to Saturday night, I was kind of, and he'll tell you, because we've had conversations about this. He's called me out on it, you know, when I've, because prior to you commentating, I still do it a bit now. I do the pre and the post fight shows, mm. and we have to make predictions on who's going to win and stuff like that. Mm. And I picked him to lose a few times. And every time he goes out there and proves me wrong, mm. right? And then we, we bumped into each other, and I'm, I, you know, I said to him, I said, oh, I'm sorry, man. I said, <laughs> It's nothing because fighters take it very fucking personal. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? When I go on TV or whoever it is, I remember when I used to fight and I'd be in the locker room and they, they have the pre show on the TV. Oh. You know, and you'll see whoever it is and they're talking about it. Like, yeah, he's, he's going to lose. Second round knockout. I think, you fucking motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, all right. See you later. <laughs> you know all what I mean? Right, so it, right. it does irk you a little bit and mm. you think, I'll have a word with that guy. So, anyway, you know, uh, and I always thought, well, there always was a reason for why he was winning. Right, the reason was he was very good, but against Robert Whittaker, Robert Whittaker had a terrible game plan. He kept lunging in from, mm-hmm. from so far away. Mm. So I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Robert Whittaker was shit. And then I was like, yeah, against Anderson Silva, it wasn't the most, it wasn't the busiest fight, right? And mm-hmm. I was like, well, you know, Anderson didn't really do much. You know, I feel if he stepped on the gas more, <laughs> then he could have beaten Israel. And then Yo Romero, Yo didn't do fuck all. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, come on, that, that, that fight didn't even happen. Mm. But the fact of the matter is, like Barcini, it cost us Saturday night. He went out yeah. there and he didn't do much either, mm-hmm. right? But it, it, when a pattern starts to form, you can't sit there and say it's not because he's that good. When the pattern starts to form, it's because, like Costa, Saturday night was scared. Yeah. He didn't want to get in the punching range, in the pocket, as they call yeah. it, because mm. Adesanya was too fast. He mm. was just too fast. And anytime he went near him, he was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, they got my head taken off there. Yeah, so it's easy for me to just stand there in the middle of the octagon and let you dictate the dance. And yeah, kick the shit out of me. So it's not Israel, it's not his fault that his opponents are scared of him. I yeah. also kind of picked up on that even like in the pre-fight or I'm sorry, before the fight, like uh, leading up to it, how he was already kind of tentative and he seemed a little bit emotional. Mm-hmm. Bertino, right? Yeah, yeah. It's um, it's those well, the... very emotional, especially now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh no, what happened? He cried. Oh no, today, like he saw the video. No, don't, don't tell me what happened. 
Well, Israel kind like, of give him a little dry hump in the, oh, I loved in, it. in the octagon. <laughs> I loved it. But he wasn't aware of that because he was just knocked out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like, the video. So like, so like, like yeah. Goofy, yeah. And he's yeah. like, fuck it, okay. Show me the fight shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. like, okay, oh, oh shit, a man here. Yeah. And then he's like, what the fuck? He did what? Yeah. So uh, yeah, he's pissed. He's putting out some video. He, well, he's calling for a rematch. Immediately. Crazy, because yeah, you're yeah, never yeah. going to get a rematch because you got your ass kicked. He's got to win probably four more times, right? He's got to beat Cannoneer. He's got to beat. There's a bunch Two of guys out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. sure. Yeah, he's not getting a rematch yeah. anytime. I think Whitaker. You know, although people think that um, he did, he got his ass kicked, but I think Whitaker deserves another shot, don't you? Probably because he Whitaker had like won. How many times did he defend at Whitaker? Well, no, uh, no, because he was never the real champ. Oh, he wasn't. It was, mm-hmm. interim. It was interim. It was an interim. Yeah, interim yeah. Lie. And, and, and there was some mm-hmm. weird, weird thing. I forget, yeah, people missing weight and shit. It, was, it, was, yeah. it wasn't his fault, to be fair. But he did beat a lot of good guys, and he mm. beat yeah. Yoel a few times. Yeah, and he just beat Darren Till, and he's fighting Jared Cannonier. Mm-hmm. We're Cannonier, yeah. I'd he say the winner a, of that should fight. Who's a beast? Oh yeah, Cannonier. Don't you think? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very, very. Yeah. But well, Whitaker fought Adesanya. I, it seemed like I love Whitaker. He's I my love favorite well. fighter for yeah, years. He, we just it, like his um. De- I, I like his demeanor. demeanor. You know He's very mean? humble. Yeah. A nice yeah. guy. Yeah. He's Family a very guy. nice guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it seemed like a total. He seemed like unmatched. Like he yeah. just couldn't get in there at all. Yeah. Yeah, and I, uh, just like before, at the time when I watched it initially, I'm like, oh, well, Whitaker didn't show up, did he? He had a terrible game plan. He kept trying to lunge in. And again, that's not uh, Israel's fault. That's because they were scared and intimidated because he's so tall, he's so long, and he's so fast. And every time he was trying to get on the inside to land the shot, it was like, whoa, hold yeah. on. So then I've got to start acting desperate, mm-hmm. trying to land these big, wild shots, yeah. which just leaves you more open to get countered. Yeah, he has st- length, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. He's a long fighter, right? He's also kind of scrawny, but he really is precise. Mm-hmm. Like, those kicks that he did on Apollo Costa, Borchinia. What's yeah. his name? Borchinia? Mm-hmm. That's his nickname, yeah. But that's his, who's his real, what's his real last name? Paolo Costa. Yeah. You said it three you said times. It no, no, no. You said it four no, times. Why, did he, well, well, why was he called Borchinia? Because everybody has a nickname. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, so if they said Bobby Slep King, that Slep yeah, King yeah, is my, you know. Yeah, Bobby the Slep King. And then I just changed it back to Lee. Is that what happened? Yeah. What? No, Bobby the Slep King Lee. Lee. Yeah, you're Lee. Yeah, but still before there. He, he wasn't just, let's. Oh, that's right. He, he didn't, he wasn't listed as Paulo Costa. He wasn't, before he used to fight as Paulo. Yeah. Brochinha, and that's it. Yeah. He didn't oh, really? Have the Costa yes. In it. He didn't have the Costa in it. Have then you out seen, of nowhere. Have you seen, what's it called? Borchinia yeah. Depo. Borchinia Depo it's on not, Instagram. No. Not on Twitter. Oh. You got to follow it. It's hilarious. What is it? Some of your friends freak, uh, are, are featured on there regularly. Yeah. <laughs> it's a parody MMA account, but you know. Oh, it is? They like to make fun. Anyone who misspeaks, mm. they, 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 get, they get a little roasting on there. It's funny. There's a lot of Tito Ortiz, a lot of Brendan Sharp. <laughs> well, <a lot> of- <laughs> but it's funny. It's good, clean fun, but they just they just highlight when people fuck up. And it's funny. I don't know why it's called Borchinia Depo, but right. yeah. But give it a follow. Hey guys, we're gonna take another quick break to talk about a sponsor that we all use here. Better help. I use better help in my personal life and it saved my life. Is there something interfering with your happiness or is preventing you from achieving your goals? I had a lot of that, mm. you know, and I use this and I have therapy through BetterHelp and it has saved my life, folks. BetterHelp will access your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. And you can start communicating, get this, Gilbert, what? in under 48 hours. Oh, my God. I think it's not, it, Gilbert, it's not a crisis line. I think there's a two weeks. Well. It's not self-help. It's professional counseling done securely online. Tell them more, babes. There is a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in many areas. Mm. However, the service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone con- phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. Yeah. Tell us more about it. Go. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Visit their website and read their testimonials that are posted daily. Visit BetterHelp.com slash belly. That's better H-E-L-P and join over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. Special offer for Tiger Belly listeners. Get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash belly. Enjoy the rest of the show. 
So we, I want to plug your podcast. You have a podcast with a comic out of New York. I do. What Louis. is it called? It's called Believe You Me. Believe You Me. Yes. And what? With Lewis, right? With yeah, Lewis, Lewis J. Gomez. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Comes out once a week. Twice a week. Mondays and Thursdays. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Fuck. Look at the We're work We're lazy. Out there. Yeah. So lazy. You know, come on. Do you do it out of your house? I do it out of my house. He does it uh, in New York. A studio in New York. Yeah. 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 And um, where can people find it? Everywhere you find podcasts. Uh, yeah, if, you, if you search Believe You Me or Michael Bisping podcast on YouTube, you'll find it. And then, you know, I don't know. Because Spotify, all those places, yeah. Yeah, because you are, um, I have to say, and I, I, and I mean this, I'm going to give you a compliment. Thank you. Um, you know, I don't want to brag. Oh, but, my God. But I like to brag a little bit. I, I thought you were complimenting. Yeah. I am going to compliment you. I know, you, that was really I, weird. I, 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 like, you are awesome. I know, I know. I know. No, I'm just going to talk about let this. Me try, <laughs> let me try, let me try, let me try. Let me try this. That right. was a weird turn. No, but you'll see how it's going to swing back to you. I get it. No, you don't. I do, I do. I feel You're like being I an know where it's going to go. Right, right, right. So just let me build it, okay? Please go. He's got to suck his own dick before he does it. Yeah, I got to suck of my, course, my, little, yeah. my little yellow clip before. <laughs> oh, God. So, um, you know, I don't want to brag, but I, um, you know, I, I know probably the funniest ple- people on the planet Earth. No, I've, you know, I've mingled with them, right? I've done, I've rubbed with shoulders, them, rubbed shoulders. I've done podcasts with them, and you know, you know, I've done my share of television work. Oh, and, look at his and, guy. And, uh, and and film, and um, <laughs> but um, but I nearly spot water all over the place. Then. But I, I have to say <laughs> that um, when I podcast with you, you remind me of somebody at that level of of comedy chops well thank you very much i appreciate you know it's, it's an kind. unusual thing to have you know a beefcake <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. a beefcake like yourself right have a charisma Listen, just because you are challenged <laughs> okay yeah, yeah, don't like, refer to, I, yeah, yeah. my wife gives me shit all the time for being too short oh really yes and too yeah. small yeah, yeah yeah you know she likes tall guys <laughs> I'm yeah yeah I when I got arrested when I was a kid, the cop said I was six foot two, uh-huh. and I hang on to that. But she says bullshit. You're yeah. shrinking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How tall are you? Six one. But oh, you're six one. He says yeah. that's bullshit. But at the cop shop, I they said six two. So I, you know, I claim that. Yeah. But, so but as you were, I was. You were saying I was great. Yeah. You know, so I'm. It's it, it is an unusual thing, right? I mean, there is you know because when I talk to him, I'm like, oh, it's like talking to a comic, right? Yeah. Who's like a seasoned pro, but you know, you're you know. A champion as well, you know what I mean. So it's just an unusual combo combination within one human being. Well, thank you. And I appreciate that. Yeah, and you, um, I think you have a future, right, in other areas, right? I feel like this is. I've seen this. This is the Joe Rogan, Brendan Sharp sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm like, what is going on? No, 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 it's not that. I, no, it's just, it's not, I didn't plan it. I'm not planning it. I just, it's just an idea in my head. That I'm just thinking, you know what I mean? That what an interesting, I, I thought this the last time, but then I, I'm just duly reminded today, you know what I mean? That's just, you know, you know, how um, unusual you are in that way, you know? What? You said, said I agree. agree. Don't you agree with him? No, no, agree? you said unusual. I agree. Well, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. A little aggressive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The tone. I agree that he's unusual. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. I want to. I want to ask you one more question. No, no, no. I'm using the bathroom. Mike, just chat today. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell, show him where the bathroom is. Sorry about it. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I'll be right back. yeah I want to know how you guys like met. That's interesting. Yeah, that's the thing. That's oh, what I want to. Yeah. I want to. I want to ask hey, is. I'll let, I'll let him tell it. No, 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 no but, no, no, but no, no. way better. He wait, it did way you better. did you meet him um, before the Ultimate Fighter? Yes. Oh, so quite a few years before. So we met in um, '99. Wow! In 1999, and at that time, was he? Um, what did you like about him? <laughs> <laughs> you see, so now that he's gone, I mean, that's what? a very good question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, um, I was instantly drawn to him, and I can't quite put my finger on why. When I think back, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, oh. He stands out, as you can see. Yeah. Especially um, in the town that we both lived in, he he stood out a lot to me, and he was. Tall, uh-huh. and I kind of, you know, I tease him to say that he's short, but he's he was he was tall compared to everyone else, so that stood out to me. And it's just his personality; he was like really vibrant and outgoing. And yeah, yeah. What little town did you guys meet in? Clitheroe. Oh, Clitheroe. Yes. So in that small little town, you met him. Tiny little town. Yeah. I'd only been in Clitheroe for 
couple of years um, because I moved from Australia. So I was pretty new. I think that was part of the attraction as well because I was different from everyone else. Uh, I had a different accent and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. I think that was part of it as well. And how are you – do you prefer living in California via England or – Yes. You do. I love California. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, sometimes we kind of float with the idea of moving back to England, but I can't deal with the rainy weather and cold, and I've acclimatized to Southern mm. California weather. Yeah, you and you guys are it. here now. Your kids are here. Well, the kids are here, so we're in it. Even if we did want to move anywhere, we can't. We're trapped. Yeah. Because the kids are here. Mm. They've got their own lives. I don't your want you to have um, American <laughs> accents. They go between both. So when they talk to us, they talk in like a British accent. Mm-hmm. And then when they grow up with their friends, they talk American. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, my daughter, my daughter, like she, she does, she used to speak all the time, like daddy, daddy, did it, like, in this crazy, annoying accent. Right? <laughs> and I just wasn't into it at all. But yeah. it's like, whatever, I'll tolerate it. You know what yeah. I mean? But then sometimes, and she's great now. She's turned the corner, but she went through a phase two years of her life where she was a fucking... I'm not going to get into detail. Yeah, 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 yeah. But listen, Cali girl? Yeah, yeah. Mom's like, stop. It's like Cali girl, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? But, uh, but anyway, when she has been naughty, shall we say, and we're like, what the fuck? And then I call her, I finally catch up with her. I'm like, what? Is... And she's like talking in the accent. I go, and cut that fucking stupid accent out as well. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. Now I'm mad. Now when I'm when I'm... When it's just, you know, average day, I'm like, yeah, whatever. And I roll my eyes internally. But if I'm mad and I'm like, get your ass home. What the fuck? Yeah. You, you know, it's 2 two a.m. in the morning or whatever. Ooh. And I'm like, stop talking in that stupid fucking accent. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. against Americans, yeah. by the way. It's just, you know. Yeah. How are you doing in the pandemic? I mean, like, it, 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 are you are you over it or are you, you know what I mean? Under it. Or are you under it? Yeah. Or, or inside it. I don't know. I mean, it's hard to explain. I I, I take it seriously. I respect it. I yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, that that that's one of the things that's driving me crazy right now. See yeah. every, all these fucking anti-maskers, yeah. all these conspiracy theorists. Yeah. Right, just do what you're fucking told. Mm-hmm. Put the mask on. Right? <laughs> Listen to the experts, people that have dedicated their entire lives to science. Yeah. Okay. There isn't a fucking agenda here. Yeah. The agenda, well, there is. It's we're trying to rid the world of this virus, this nasty disease yeah. that's killing people. Yeah. You know, like, I have this friend of mine in the UK where I come from, and on Facebook, he's at it all the fucking time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Going yeah, yeah. on, it's okay. I'm like, and I never respond, but I just couldn't do it last night. I'm sitting there, I'm like, fuck it, I'm going. <laughs> Oh, I, read, I wrote this big long response. Yeah, you know? yeah. And he came back with his initial response was, "Huh, really? I thought better of you, to be honest." I'm like, "Oh, really? So somebody has a different opinion than you? Right? We'd have to listen to your shit. Uh, you left school at 16. You, all, you've done, <laughs> all, all, all you've done since then, <laughs> he did. He left school at 16. Yeah, yeah. You haven't held down a, 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 a shitty dead end job your entire life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right." And you're going to sit there and disagree with scientists that have studied their entire lives to understand these things. He's like, oh, yeah, but the government keep changing guidelines. I said, well, yeah, of course. Well, that in itself tells you that they are learning and changing the uh, the guidelines as they're learning about the fucking virus. Right. If it was an agenda, they would just say, right, this is the way it's got to be. These are the control mechanisms we're putting in place. Yeah. And like it or fucking lump it. They wouldn't keep changing things. Yeah, yeah. They're adapting as it goes because it's a new thing correct and exactly. we, we are the same we're in the same boat you know even if you were weren't i don't wouldn't care but um yeah no for sure listen yeah, yeah. you know whatever you know, i'm not gonna fall out with people over it but it does yeah. get a little exhausting mm-hmm. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You know? i was at i went to a comedy night friday at somebody's house yeah and one of the girls there looks at me and she's a friend of mine she goes well because I, I had a shield and a mask on <laughs> yeah right and she's like what the well fuck? you're you know you're older He's you know what I mean? You kinda, you're in that demographic. <laughs> he is. You know, frail. He's geriatric. Weak. Yeah. You know. I mean, a, you know, a good gust of wind would knock you over. <laughs> you, know I mean? you, know, you need the shields. As you were saying, though, sorry, I interrupted your story. Anywho. <laughs> How rude. How fucking rude, you limey bastard. Limey? Yeah. You fucking, you fucking, you fucking hooligan. Uh, okay. You say cool again? Yeah, you say cool again. Cool again? Call, 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 call you a cool again. That sounds like cool again, a gang. That's a really <laughs> good compliment. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're a cool again. You're yeah. like a little bit of a thuggish, but you're yeah. cool. Yeah. That's a good word. Cool but you again. You dress real well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're a cool again. So, um, and she goes, you know, you know the people that die from coronavirus, uh, coronavirus is people that um, that took the flu vaccine last year and then gets COVID. 
So the combination of the two kills you. It's actually yeah. quite the opposite. And she goes, take the mask off. I oh, go, really? Yeah, and I go, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to listen to you. Yeah. You, who the fuck are you? Yeah. Right? So it's, it, it, everyone has these different opinions and whatnot, but... Um, well, 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 everyone's just at each other's throats. So it's not even a matter of, like, what you believe. I think that people are just generally frustrated, and they want to go after something and someone. Mm. So it's like, in those situations, like, you just got to accept to disagree and then move on. Yeah, I did. Okay. People I still are don't. very frustrated yeah. and certainly people that have lost their jobs and lost yeah. their income. Yeah, yeah. It's difficult. It's a difficult that, And that's a different scenario to what I'm dealing with. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and and my thoughts are with them truly. But I pulled my phone out here because I posted this the other day and it's so true. It says, quick reminder, if the roles were reversed and it was younger people who were more likely to, to die, our grandparents and parents would do absolutely everything they could to protect us. Mm -hmm. But on the flip side, we're like, oh, it's just the old fucker. Right, right. They've lived their life. That's an interesting thing. I'm glad you said that. Yeah, imagine if you were love first. You. And I love you. You will fucking do I love you too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you whatever you could to protect your children and your grandchildren. Yeah. yeah. You wouldn't say, ah, oh, fuck it. They've, they've, he's 60 years old. That's still young. Yeah. So you know, young. I mean, you're almost right there. <laughs> <laughs> you still got life left to live, Bob. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this guy. Oh. Anyway. We have a demon baby to make. Yeah, yeah we have a demon baby. <laughs> so I, I want to say that I have also, this podcast has been. Very fun for me. I really oh, is this enjoy. it? Is it done? No, we have to do our unhelpful advice. Oh my god, we've just <clears throat> driven all this way. We just got here. Jesus Christ, Bobby. Dude, well, you want to do a five-hour event like Rogan, Rogan does? <laughs> Fuck that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I want to do it from the inside of a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> What's in the studio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah where are you? <laughs> it looks like a fucking pill. Yeah. Can I just uh, talk about the room I just went in? Oh, That's that awesome. What? Oh, that was our old studio. We, that door, was our no, no, no. Where I just went in next yeah, door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw like the soundproofing, but the door, all the artwork and stuff. Oh, oh yeah, because that was the original favorite, podcast yeah. room. Right. But then the COVID hit. Yeah. So we moved out of there because we can have guests. Right. So mm -hmm. we can have more space. So we Got put it. this black. Okay. Yeah, yeah no, we don't know what to do with that. I was paying you a you. compliment okay. on the artwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was doing. Okay, I was, okay, I was, okay I was, Mikey. I was attacking you, Bobby. Mikey, okay. <laughs> all right, I'm old. I'll, you want more to say? I'm fat. What no, it's a say? nice. I like the artwork on the door. Okay, Mikey. That's my. That's <laughs> fuck, little that Mikey. Was my little Mikey from the UK is here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Six foot one. Hey, little, little Mikey dick. from the UK. Yeah, yeah. So um, we what we do at the uh, you've been on the show before. We do a thing called the unhelpful advice, and people email us um, questions, and we try to answer them. Okay? Unhelpful advice with Bobby, Kalila, Michael Bisping, and Rebecca. Uh, hey, friends. My fiance and I are about to have a baby. She's only two months along, but it seems so close to nine months. My, uh, my problem is I can't get her to quit smoking <laughs> cigarettes. As soon as I found out she was pregnant, I quit because I want what's best for our baby and our family. Mm. How can I try to convince her to quit without making her think she's against what's best for our family? <laughs> I know she loves me, and I know she'll love our baby, but I know she can love herself, me, and our baby so much more if she does things she knows she needs to do. Thanks. Love you guys. How does he convince his fiance to quit smoking for the baby? Oh. How, do you convince, how do you convince Rebecca to well, 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 I mean, it's pretty obvious. Number one, cigarettes kill you. <laughs> They'll kill the mother. They could kill the baby. They're doing harm. That's... For damn sure. Rebecca, this is why I push this over to you. Listen, there's one thing she knows about. It's babies yeah, and yeah, drinking yeah. whilst pregnant, smoking yeah, yeah, yeah. while pregnant, eating whatever kind of foods whilst pregnant. I was like, this is your fucking wheelhouse. All right, let's, 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 okay, Rebecca. So I'm just going to say, let's suppose I'm your friend. We're, you, you and I have, we're, I go to Orange County, okay? okay? You and I having brunch, right? You and I are having brunch. Right. And I'm talking, Kalila's pregnant. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go, so Rebecca, Kalila... You know, she's two months pregnant, as you know. Well, what about I'm weird? I'm right next to you in front of you, and I'm just smoking, and you see that. You yeah, know, yeah, I'm yeah. So she's belly. smoking. Yeah. She's I pregnant. Know. What would you say? I would say. Nothing. <laughs> I'm completely non confrontational. Yeah. Right, I right. I'd be like, oh my God, when you left, I'd be like, oh my God. <laughs> oh, you're too phased. You're too phased. <laughs> 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 I like it. Constantly, when she's pregnant, that's disgusting. And then whenever you can't come on, I'd be like, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad like that. Yeah, yeah. But but yeah, no, she's really, really damaging the health mm -hmm. of her unborn baby. That baby could be born with a low birth rate. I know that much. If yeah. you smoke heavily whilst pregnant. Yeah. Low birth rate means. Sorry, but low birth weight. Oh, weight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I might have said right. I mean yeah, yeah, yeah. weight. So, and that's so not low birth weight. Mm -hmm. I just don't think that it would be it's not the healthiest. It's not like taking vitamins. 
It's not. Like vitamins would be good, right? Well, vitamins are great. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it's not as it bad as heroin. So if it was heroin, I would be like, hey, man, put the needle down. Yeah, yeah. Right? No, no, I feel like heroin's better than nicotine. You think so? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. well, all right, no, not heroin because the baby would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have nicotine. to withdraw. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they'd be withdrawal. Yeah, yeah. Maybe crack. Yeah, not, 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 <laughs> not great either. No, just, just get off the class A. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Babies, you no, know what I mean? Yeah, I just think, you know what I would do? I would just like sit down with her and go, listen, I don't care what you do with your body. I do, right? But if you choose to smoke, smoke. But you have our baby inside you. Can you please wait until you have the baby? Or at least be drunk. You know what I mean? You right. Smoke, get drunk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah if you get yeah. drunk, a cigarette can be nice. You know? Right, 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 right. You're not even drunk. Yeah. You're sober. She's like, yeah, I'm not Here's drink this pregnant. whiskey. <laughs> I would say. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I said, stop being a selfish bitch. Yeah, that's a You've crazy... You've got a baby inside your stomach. She should know better. <clears throat> is that a real question? That is a real question. That's a real question. We, a lot of we get like so many that. weird ones. Don't yeah. be a selfish bitch. You have a baby inside your stomach. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. that's, the, uh, that's the answer. Don't be a selfish bitch. Don't be a selfish bitch. Do we have another one? Because that's a given. Yeah. Hello, my name's Ethan. I've been single for six years. Uh-oh. There's been dates, but sex... Uh, there's been dates and sex, but zero intimacy. Mm. Recently started dating a young lady, and I cannot keep it up during sex long enough for me to finish. Bobby. She gets off, and I'm going <laughs> soft. Almost uninterested. This has never been a problem before. Do you think it's an intimacy, intimacy issue or something larger? Oh. <sighs> I don't even know what uh. you're asking. That's yeah. a hard one. Yeah. So hold well, on, he can't get it up, he yeah. can't keep it up. Nope. It, I mean, to me, it's. I, I think that there's some porn, porn. I think yeah. there's some porn, porn involved. Porn involved for sure. Right. Yeah. So it's like, number one, um, cut off the porn and the extracurricular. No, <laughs> cut not, off not, your not, dick. Cut off your dick. No, the extracurricular jacking off. Right. You should stop doing that. Mm -hmm. Right. And then let uh, the tank fill a little. Let bit. the tank fill. Let the gun. You know what I mean. Build some. Bullets, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can shoot, <laughs> ta -ta -ta, you know what I mean? Whatever, exactly. You know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, or maybe go to therapy, or yeah, <laughs> at bluechew.com. You know that? Ah, uh, that, that, uh, that's uh, great. That, one of your, are they one of our sponsors? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, for hims. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, yeah. for him. Yeah, yeah. Use the promo yeah. code Bobby Lee. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, but seriously, yeah. maybe that. Maybe uh, go see your doctor. Or maybe Some start su su or suck dick. Maybe dick is your thing. Well, maybe he's think, gay. Yeah, what if I was? What if I was gay and I was trying to convince myself, yeah, right, that I was straight, and I'm like losing my, you know, what I mean, maybe suck off like, you know, <laughs> yeah, a hobo. Maybe maybe he loves her, but but doesn't. He's not attracted. Uh, it's more of a friendship. Yeah. You know. But I feel like men. And all the, all the hookers he's fucking at the weekend. Is <laughs> probably, you know, yeah. bit of an issue as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's a difficult question. Because I don't, you know why that question's difficult? I don't know his routine. I don't know him at all. Mm -hmm. It's just a surface, you know what I mean? He's mm -hmm. just nervous. <laughs> like some people can build yeah. it up so much in their head, right? And then they just let it kind of build too much, and then no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, no, that, that could be it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I thought he was pulling away <laughs> no, because I thought you said no. Michael was really nervous. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I never pull out. <laughs> uh, no, no, you were laughing like you like, oh yeah, yeah. No, you're right. It's the nerves. Yeah, you felt like she was talking to you there. No, I thought she was talking to you oh. when you guys first started dating. <laughs> oh yeah, I get so nervous. <laughs> Twenty-one years, I still can't get it up. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck we've got three kids. <laughs> In my, in my early 20s, but as you get older, you want a, a, a connection with somebody. I think so. Yeah. Even at a bar, you know, you if you meet somebody and you're just, what's your name? And then she makes you laugh. You know what I mean? And she's sassy. Then, then you can go, oh, I can do this, right? But if just no name, right? She's just laying there with just like, you know what I mean? Her fucking tits, uh, you know, her flat, fat tits out. And her vag was just like roast uh, beef. Oh, why are you touching? Yeah, you know I mean, and I was just like, I oh, know. We have guests. But oh, sorry, my uh, yeah, I was like, I'm so sorry. Stop it, please. Yeah. <laughs> what a wonderful, what a wonderful podcast. Not what? That's our ending. What a great yeah, ending. Yeah, yeah. That image? What a that great, was awesome. Again, That's a great ending. Again, a bad dismount. <laughs> no, no, I don't care. I think every time you know I do podcasts, the ending is always weird, right? No, that was perfect. Yeah, yeah, and and people even sent me a meme. This is how I end podcast. You know what I mean? Yeah. In a weird way. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I have to cut that part out. But, um, 
we're gonna, we're gonna zoom up. Yeah, yeah, zoom up. Yeah, maybe that was not the right way to end, right? But um, you know, I have to say, um, we don't have a lot of repeats on the show, Michael. Mm. We don't. We've had maybe wow. three. Nah, like six. Six. No, so that's a few. <laughs> out of two hundred something. Right? Out of no, but that's good. That's good. Out of two hundred plus guests. You know yeah, I mean? but yeah, it's quarantine. You're running out of people. People. No, I could, there's LA so many much. fucking people I could ask again. I just don't want them. Uh, well, don't diss old guests. Uh, they're we great. Them, yeah, I would love all. everyone. Back. <laughs> there's 194 <laughs> guests. I would love you're everyone back. Shit about. I would love everyone back. Yeah. I really would. Right? <laughs> but I'm just. I just know, right, that you'll be back again. Oh, right? thank I just you, know thank it, you. right? Even though you never asked me to be on yours, it's fine. Bobby, I asked you to be on mine. Did they ask? I, I, I have asked. In fact, it's in your text messages. Oh, I text ooh. you direct. Oh my, yeah. direct. Call down. You know, but you're too big time these days. Uh -uh. Big here's, time. Here's what. Here's what I got. What is your last thing, Michael? Text. No, not the last thing. Go no, yes. you. What's up, Bobby? Biz being here. Hit a little traffic. Seven. Probably seven ten. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, go up. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, I did. I changed my number. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He changed his number. Yeah. I changed my so number. So this is your Hold new on. number? Yeah, that's my new number. Okay, okay. Yeah. Save that, please. Uh, Hold did, on. Did you, you didn't get the screen on it, right? No, it's fine. Yeah, blur it. Yeah, I want people to know um, this number. Let's have a look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Bobby Lee. Yeah. Okay, buddy. That was you. What's right. up, Bobby Bisping? Uh... Go up a little bit. January 14th, 2019. Ooh. Great time, Bobby. You got to do mine in return. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I will. You seriously killed it. And then no invite. No, F no invite. You, you, yeah, you have to go. All right, so you go. <laughs> so fuck face. Right? Did that just backfire right, on you? Right, it backfired. Right, right. <laughs> so you go. You said I'll right, I go, okay, I did I'll do it, right? The invite. And then nothing? Okay, okay. No, when? No, no, no. You Where? Might, what I, time? Let me tell you this, and maybe you can give me some advice, because here's the deal with that. Okay. Because I have so many guests lined up that I want, excuse me, yeah. that I want to have on, right? I might yeah. want to have a chat like this. But the problem is, Lewis does it in New, New York, York mm -hmm. and I do it here. Yeah. And if we bring a guest in, it kind of gets weird. You, mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying? Right. You have a guest, but then often, more often than not, there's a little bit of a delay. Yes. All right. Conversations don't really flow too well. Yep. And, and then some of them, maybe maybe Lewis doesn't know who these people are. And it's just, and it, what, me and another guy going to sit in a room and Lewis is just going to be listening yeah. in? From right. The it's just a weird dynamic. So I think down the line, probably going to invest in like a little studio somewhere mm -hmm. and do it a bit more traditional, so to But speak. that's why we, we had Zoom guests on this during the and pandemic. And they weren't going well. And they we're not going well. It's hard. It's so a, we it, made this. So I just we had a girl two weeks ago. I wanted, and she's like, "Yeah, I just not, I don't feel comfortable." And I go, "Well, I can't do what, it here." Yeah, in this she room. Didn't feel comfortable. <laughs> no. So I go, "Well, I can't do it through Zoom." So we'll, we'll just wait until the pandemic's over. Because well, you're about what ten feet away. From I know. My point is, glass. is that this is the way we are, we're doing it. Um, and I just want to throw this out. Maybe you guys can do one. But anyway. Um, Very good dynamic. You, really good dynamic, you two. No, we do. And people say that to her all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> I actually suggested that we should like just do like one episode together. And he pretty much just laughed at me at the suggestion. Well, that's what we did. It wasn't any formal thing. We got a mic. We were in the middle of our carpeted yeah. bedroom. And we were like, hey, let's just see where it goes. And I told her no for like six months. For right? six months. And then I started buying the mics myself. And then I just kind and of And then she was in a room one day just sitting with the, with the headphones. It's just this, like this. <laughs> and I walked by and I was like. What are you doing? You took pity on <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck? All right, I'll do it. Because I didn't think. And then we started doing it together like this. Yeah. And then one day, dude, years later. Right? We started going, oh, we have a huge fan base. Yeah. How long have you guys been doing this? Five years. Five, Five years. years. But our first 30 episodes was just him and I fighting, arguing fighting. about really dumb things. Dumb things. We had no guests. But that's great, yeah. though. The people mm -hmm. want to hear that shit. They want to yeah. hear that dynamic. I think so. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I just yeah. think you should try, you fuckface. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be per like overly produced. Yeah. I, you know, people like lulls. People like people lulls. Like, people you know, like to hear real things. Yeah. 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 You know? No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, I agree. I agree 100%. Yeah, and um, that... What? Check. Ah, the blue check. Ah, yeah, yeah. ah the blue yeah. check mark. It's all she gives a fuck about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Yeah. When you said that when you first walked in, I'm like, yeah, I get it. That's yeah. all she's been talking about for the longest time. Yeah, that's what Why you, do you want a she, blue check mark so bad? 
because you're nobody unless you got a blue check. <laughs> <laughs> it's show, it's show it, it, business. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody. Yeah, Come yeah. On. Maybe they might just yeah, you see it off merit. I mean, old I, fashioned I, concept. I would hope I so. It. Is yeah. this good mm -hmm. or is it garbage? It's great, but no check mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do live in a society. It's is getting that weird. Horrible. Isn't it? It feels weird. I yeah, it is embarrassing. Right, but that I would you even have to say you that. need to you know, and I the same way. For the longest time, I didn't have one, and I, my openers, guys that opened for me, were getting blue check marks. You know what I mean? I would have like well, a couple uh, at the, back in the day. 100,000 followers or whatever. My opener would have 2,000 followers and get a blue check mark and all my friends. And one day I just snapped and I called my agent. I, I will leave you. <laughs> <laughs> I will leave you, right? And I'll go to a different agency if you don't use your power to get me a blue check mark. And they, they panicked. It is essential in this day. And Isn't that weird so though? Why, they, you know, it's like. You know what's even funnier is that I, I started this podcast and my podcast page got the blue check mark before me. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That was That's a big hilarious. slap to the face. I was like, well, really? Like, I'm really yeah. top liver. Yeah, no, that is, that is, yeah. So, yeah. Michael, your I'm wife sure. wants a fucking blue check mark. Start a podcast. Because I think that there is something here and I'm not just saying that. Yeah. yeah. I think there's just something oh, here. Listen, I'm yeah, shut listen the fuck up. All the way home, guys. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> It's a long drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll make it just like a seasonal thing. This is like the pandemic, uh, you know, set of. Yeah, just do one. Oh, God. All right. Okay. okay. You're Happy. Why don't we give Michael Bisping a and round of applause and Rebecca, and Rebecca a round back. of applause? Thank you so much for coming. What a great podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. That was so good. Hey, guys. I hope you enjoyed that impromptu uh, bonus guest. Uh, Rebecca was awesome. That was really fun. Uh, guys, thanks to everyone at the Tiger Belly Patreon. A new vlog just dropped on Sunday featuring Bobby's karate skills. You might have seen a little clip on um, our IG page. And for gamers, we also have George's first time playing Warzone with Bobby and myself, as well as an exclusive Jules interview of Bobby, uh, a Bobby uh, podcast, uh, audio form. I don't know why I'm explaining what a podcast is to you. Uh, you can check all this out at patreon.com slash Tiger Belly. And I'd also like to thank our sponsors, Hims and BetterHelp. For ED, hair loss, and all your man's needs, go to forehams.com slash belly. Shout out to John, the scientist. Uh, take charge of your mental health today. For special offer for Tiger Belly listeners. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash belly. And once again, get your questions on Tiger Belly by emailing us at adviceunhelpful at gmail.com. We're looking for something out of the ordinary, life situations, weird family members, strange encounters with coworkers, or aliens. Uh, you can email us at adviceunhelpful at gmail.com. Uh, we love you guys so much. And follow us on Tiger Belly on IG. Also, follow Bobby at Bobby Lee Live, Clally Clam DK, George and George underscore Kimmel. And Michael Bisbing at Gilbert's. Love you guys. Have a good night.